Um, how I got my I got my start in the music industry um, fairly early on. My my grandfather has a bar um, since the 50s called Grossman's Tavern, where a lot of the Canadian bands used to come and tour. So as a kid, I hung out with a lot of the musicians. That I didn't really know who they were, but I, I knew that I felt comfortable around it, and I knew that. This is really what I wanted to do, but I couldn't play if my life depended on it. The only thing I'm good at is counting to four or several times over, which really allowed me to be a drummer in a rock and roll band, but that was it. I've got no musical talent whatsoever. When I was in university, I volunteered for the campus radio station at York University and the campus press, which got me knowing a lot of the other publicists because they were the ones pitching us on airplay and doing interviews and things like that. Um, the day after I graduated, I made a list of all the things that I can now do with my, with my English mass communication degree, and the only thing that I had on that page was a record label. So I reached out to a couple of friends, started the record label, then we realized that without bookings, nobody would come and see the bands play to buy the records that we were selling. So then we became booking agencies and a record label. And then we realized that without publicity, nobody would come and see the bands play that we just spent so hard working, booking, and buying the records. And then I woke up one day and realized that I could not lose a dime out of any of this and just become publicist. So that's what I did. I started my own PR company really early on, around like 1992 or so. And um, at one time I was doing PR for a lot of you know, the venues that are in Toronto. We were doing the Silver Dollar and the Elmo Combo and helping out the Horseshoe and the Free Times Cafe. And I was really cheap. I, I, I worked for food essentially and I wanted to do it better than anyone else, faster than anyone else and cheaper than anyone else. So I just wanted to get as much experience as possible. Um, I had that for a couple of years and then took an offer to work for a record label called Shoreline. And Shoreline had three bands. that They had the Nylons, Patricia Conroy, and a brand new band that nobody had heard of called Nickelback. And so worked that for a little bit, and then we changed distributors to Koch. And I didn't really know a lot about distributors and what they do, it's essentially just moving a box of records, or records were like the round things, um, and into the warehouse to the record stores. Um, but the president of Koch at the time called me up and said, how would you like to do you know, how would you like to do PR for 1,700 bands instead of the three? And I said, great, I'll, I'll work essentially for one promo copy for everything that you put out. I mean, that's how awesomely desperate I was to maintain a career in the music industry, that I was willing to do it for free. Um, and I've been there ever since. Uh, Koch got bought out by Entertainment One and I'm coming up on my 14th year now.